my name is Vivian. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Now I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. This is what my skin looks like after seven, about seven or eight days, basically a week of using a aloe vera turmeric paste or mask. Now I'm not new to aloe vera or to turmeric. My husband is actually from East Africa, Ethiopia. Shout out to all the habashas out there. So I'm familiar with the spice. I cook with turmeric. I know that it's used in Indian food. Ethiopian food shares some similarity as far as the type of spices they use with Indian food. Um, so that's just a little bit of background. I am 38 years old a week shy of my 39th birthday. Shout out to all the Leos out there too. Um, I have combination skin. I'm looking in the mirror here. I have combination skin and what that means is that certain areas of oil are oily and certain areas are dry. My dry areas tend to be here. My oily areas are my um, forehead, sometimes along my cheeks here. All right, you guys, so just to give you that background, now let's jump right into the first day of me using the actual mask. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be making a aloe vera face mask and I tend on using this for the entire week that's seven days straight okay so here we have some turmeric tea tree oil aloe vera and coconut oil now I don't really I'm not a fan of coconut oil on my face or oils in general unless it's like a serum vitamin C serum or a vitamin E oil but I have done coconut oil mask in the past so I tend on using maybe one to two tablespoons of coconut oil um, and again, this will be for the entire week, so more than likely two tablespoons. I would say uh, half a cup of aloe vera, six to eight drops of tea tree oil, and half of a tablespoon of turmeric. All right, you guys, so right now I'm just cutting up the aloe vera plant itself. I can get this locally at my um, local Walmart or grocery store, but I'm going to start growing this in my backyard since it is a succulent, and I live in Phoenix, Arizona, where it is extremely dry. That's one thing I didn't mention in the video. The weather here is very dry. I actually live in a desert, so there's no humidity in the air. But with that being said, um, a plant such as aloe vera um, it wouldn't need, need much tending to or much maintenance. Uh, it would grow pretty well. It actually grows naturally out here. So anyway, just cutting this up. Please don't do what I'm doing. Take your time uh, <laughs> when you're cutting up this aloe vera. Um, like I said earlier, or perhaps I didn't, but um, if I if I am being redundant, I do apologize. But aloe vera is something that I use on a weekly basis, not just for my face, but also for my hair. I will be linking in the card several DIY recipes for detangler. I love mixing up aloe vera with a good oil, preferably coconut oil or olive oil, a great conditioner, and apple cider vinegar. For me, that is one of the best. DIY detanglers adding some coconut milk to makes a big difference but I think just four you know three or four ingredients mixing up pretty well upon it to your hair if you have coarse hair um, even if you don't have coarse hair if you have wavy hair a DIY de excuse me detangler using aloe vera is also great <laughs> As a disclaimer, I would not recommend adding this much tea tree oil directly to the mixture. My face was on fire, so I ended up putting it in a blender, and this is what the consistency looks like. If you do add tea tree oil, add two to three drops, okay? So we need this. All right, you guys, so I'm applying the face mask for the first time. Got a little smart later on and decided to buy a makeup brush to apply the mask, make it less messier. Um, and what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like with it on. I left it on for about 15 minutes and I rinsed it off. And you're going to see me here use my um, normal just face products. I will be listing everything below in the description box. Now, let me tell you something. I put way too much tea tree oil in this particular mixture. And yeah, it was burning. So doing things a little bit differently the next go around. So this is the new um, uh, mask I'm going to be doing. Turmeric, again, um, honey, and aloe vera. So the main difference is not adding any coconut oil and tea tree oil, of course. And so this is what this particular face mask looks like. A little bit more put together due to the honey. And next up, you're going to see clips of me wearing makeup later on that day. You can already see, granted I have on makeup, but my skin, you guys, is clearing up a little bit better, okay? 
my hair is a, a bit big today. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off this mask. It smells so good. So yeah, with the honey mixture, I did not add the tea tree oil. Instead, I'm going to spot treat any acne or buildup, excuse me, not buildup, but any breakouts with the tea tree oil in certain areas instead of um, applying it into directly to the face mask so that my face is not on fire. I also was going to, or excuse me, I also started to wash my face thoroughly, basically do my skin regimen and then apply the mask. I found that's better. So this is the next day. The mask is getting thinner and thinner. I did end up refrigerating come the second day just to be on the safe side. And next up, you're going to see clips of what my skin looks like. I'm starting to get a little break up there at the front near my eyebrow, but that's okay. Now it's fully emerging. You see that? Yeah, this is the next day. It's very red. Um, next up, you're going to see clips. Um, I believe this is day five of me wearing makeup. And this is day six with no makeup and the upcoming clips you're going to see me with makeup on. Mind you, I am applying the face mask in the morning, okay? This is with makeup. This is day six. Yeah, day six. And then this is day seven. Look at how great my skin is clearing up. And then the final clips will be of day eight. Okay, you guys? So yes, this is what my face looks like now. This is a close up. Now I still have that little situation here uh, before I broke out. But overall, my skin looks good, you guys. Like I said, I got a couple of compliments. Um, some people over the weekend were shocked about my age. I don't think almost 39 is old now that I'm almost 39. I don't think that that's old, but oftentimes I get, you know, are you 29, 28? But then when I start talking, they're like, okay, you're 33, 32. I'm like, go up higher. Overall, I found that using the, um, paste itself along with the aloe vera, evens out my skin. My skin definitely looks brighter. Now, let me say this. I'm not trying to look lighter. Okay, I love my chocolate skin. I like, I love that I have, you know, medium toned skin. I love that about myself. So, um, and I, I embrace that, okay. But I do notice that there's, an, uh, there's a brightness to my skin uh, and this evening out. So yes, I would definitely be using this in the future. Every day, no, <laughs> not happening. But I will be using it probably, I don't think it'll be, you know, hard for me to do this two or three times a week, at least twice a week. Not a problem. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all the subscribers. Take care. Bye.